Why now? Why launch the campaign now? Sure, Alex, and, uh, and thank you for having me this morning. Uh, obviously, this was a very difficult decision for us. Uh, we've always been on the management side, being involved with three public companies. And uh, we just felt like that Marathon had severely underperformed its peers and really was making some very poor decisions, some structural decisions that would affect it going forward. So when Elliott came out with its plan, which we support, we believe that it was a good plan to help release or, or uh, add more shareholder value. But we think there's a lot more there that, um, that can be done, in particular at the CEO level. We believe that a lot of decisions that have been made uh, will affect the company going forward without a change at the CEO level. And uh, therefore, we've asked uh, Mr. Heminger to step down. So We'd like to see a new, a new CEO brought in and uh, replace a lot of the, the management there and bring in the people that can take this company moving forward. Who? Who do you want to see replace him? So there are many talented people out there. Uh, first of all, these are great assets. These are assets that should, um, should outperform their peer group and they have just lagged the last year. We believe there's many people out there. We'd like to work with the independent board members to help bring that right person in. So I'm gonna, uh, it's a twofold kind of question because if you come inside the Bloomberg, you talk about the underperformance. Uh, so this is uh, uh, Marathon Petroleum and its peers uh, going back by about five years. This red line here is where Elliott came in the first time to advocate a breakup of the company into three. And then the result was actually uh, a merger of Endeavor and a pipeline units. Uh, the corporate structure is still complex. There was the, a proposal to spin off Speedway. They said no. There were like minor changes made. Will anything minor work this time or is this different? No, we don't believe that they followed through with the plan that Elliott had laid forward. We think this time that's why there needs to be a change at the top. We believe that if we bring in the right person who executes on the Elliott plan and also will continue to, to build upon the, the changes that we believe need to be made at the management level, we, we believe this company can excel and, and, and outperform even what Elliott's proposed. So uh, Marathon really standing by Gary, though. Uh, they recently said firmly and unanimously supportive uh, of Gary as a CEO, and they say his track record of delivering value to shareholders and all the company's uh, constituencies. I even reached out to Marathon myself for a response, uh, but did not hear back. Um, what do you think is going to take? Like, How much support have you been able to garner when the board is still behind Heminger? So when we released this on Friday, we had a large group of institutional investors that own this, uh, own this stock reach out to us. And overwhelmingly, they support Elliott's plan. They support the removal of, of Gary or Gary to step down at this point. And, uh, you know, frankly, Alex, it, w it was overwhelming. The majority of the top shareholders reached out to us. Uh, we're all aligned, and we believe as the message gets out, if the shareholders are heard, uh, this change could be made and the Elliott plan could be implemented this time the right way. Do you want the job? Uh, we, did not, uh, we did not write this letter or go public uh, for management positions at Marathon or board. We're just large shareholders that want to see the stock uh, returns be what they should be based on this asset. But would you take it? <laughs> We're not applying for the job. We believe that there are uh, several talented people there that could take this uh, company to the next level and we're there to support them or help them in any way to make that happen. So if uh, the Marathon Board doesn't work with you, they've stood behind Gary, etc., what do you do? What are your next steps? Well, you know, we're hoping that, uh, like I said, that uh, as, as we go out and we talk to shareholders and their stories and their beliefs come out, that ultimately Gary will do the right decision and step aside. Uh, we believe that this is a strong independent board that if they're given all the facts, if they look at this carefully uh, and they evaluate the Elliott plan and they look at uh, the issues we're talking about, we believe they'll get to the right decision.